What's up guys, Michigan Air Gunner. We're back out today with the Benjamin Bulldog 457. Uh, Air Gun Tactical sent us this gun and they have sent us a uh, few different slugs to test. Originally when I first got the gun they only had one and that was uh, 240 grain and we did take a deer with it. And now we have 240 grain 265 grain and 290 grain so what I'm basically I'm going to do to try to get the best out of it for this ammo I'm going to lay prone I'm going to use a regular scope this is my uh, Bushnell Nitro first focal plane scope and I have the bipod on the front and then we are going to be shooting 50 yards and hope everything goes good. I'm not staying tethered. I'm just trying to save air. So we're gonna fill up to 3,000, shut the tank off. That way we're just saving a little bit of air out here because I didn't bring my compressor with me. But uh, yeah, I think it should be fun. Let's see what happens. All right, so we are going to go to 3,000. And we're gonna start with the 240 grain. Which are the last ones I grab. Hopefully you can see that. We're gonna go right across the top of the targets. I do have a pit bull single shot tray to help me out this time. So let's see what happens. We'll do, uh, we'll do three shot groups. Hi. Almost dead center. <laughs> Off. All right, we're going to uh, fill up and switch over to the 265s. Two sixty five. So now I'm hoping that my taxi cam will hold out because the battery's blinking. Again, target. That one was pretty good. All right, so in hopes that my camera is not dead already, we're just gonna jump over to the two, 290. On target, roll out. <sighs> On target, dead center.
290s did better than I thought they would. So uh, we'll go down and check that out. I'm really hoping my Tacticam didn't die. All right, well, it looks like my next go around with this hunting wise might be the 290s. I know uh, from watching other videos on YouTube, the two or 350 seems to work pretty good, but I haven't tried that yet. So I'll go down here and show you these groups. I did pretty good considering I ran back after the first group because my camera was about to die. Let's see, is it dead? Nope, it's still good. All right, I'll flip you over. All right, so this was our 245 or 240s. And this was our two. 65 and that was our 290 so that's really good um, important thing to remember is even this these are three inch tar targets so those would all fit in here uh, that one's a little out maybe but that's still all dead deer with a big boy this is a lot better but this would still kill a deer at under three inches so that is a big deal like people think big boars are need to be hole on hole on hole and they don't powder burners like to use if you can hit a pie plate at 100 yards you're good but realistically if you can hit a three inch circle keep or keep all your shots within three inches at 50 75 100 I think that is an accurate rifle if that is a repeatable accuracy if you can get it even tighter like those 290s that's even better but don't sell yourself short if you're not hitting hole on hole because either way, you're still going to drop that deer as long as you keep a semi-tight group. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Sorry it wasn't a bunch of other stuff, but it's going to rain and I wanted to get it done. But yeah, until next time guys, keep shooting.